Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and this video is going to show you how to create your contact form. So when we log into the back end, the first thing we're going to do is click on the contact and mailing list tab at the top, and you're going to be presented with these three tabs right here, these two panels. And just to get a contact form up and running, all you have to do is put in this title. And once you put in that title and you click save, you will see that you can create a site that a page that looks like this. It'll auto create a page that has you know a basic username. Uh, an email address and your message and if I were to come in here and I were to type in some of this information and then I were to send it in you'll see that it, if we go to the back end and we refresh this you're gonna see that the message gets sent to the inbox right here and so there's the message that I just sent in so if you want to be up and running really quick all you have to do is put in a title and you can start accepting messages so now let's kind of go through and detail this out a little bit more so if I want to add a heading and I can have it say contact me um, I could also add a description to this page and I'm gonna go ahead and put some text in right there and that's great for if you want to put your office hours or, or whatever else you want to put and then I have the ability to put in a Google map so I'm gonna come in here to Google and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this code and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it right in here and then I am going to leave this uh, use inbox as true which means that the email messages go into this inbox as you see here but I might also want them to go to specific email addresses so I'll leave this marked as true and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna comma separate some email addresses that I want it to go to right here so those would be the email addresses that I would uh, have all the messages go to so it can be it could be in both places so then the next thing down is the mailing list if you want to be able to capture people to a mailing list um, you can do that through here and we support right now three different types of vendors so we have campaign monitor mailchimp and mad mimi and so if you were to pick uh, mad mimi they're going to ask for a username they're gonna offer an api and a subscriber list key so you're gonna need all three of those for mad mimi and then for mailchimp and campaign monitor you're just gonna need these two just the API key and the subscriber list key so um, if you go ahead and create accounts with any of those three vendors you'll be able to find that information and plug it in here and then anybody that um, subscribes through your mailing list will be able to um, send that information directly to that list on at the vendor so it's gonna be seamless so they can either click here to add to the mailing list or they can actually click this mailing list button here and it'll pop up an area for them to to sign and this mailing list is in the footer of the entire site so always gives them an opportunity to sign up for your mailing list so if you go ahead and, and add those you can you can use your your uh, mailing list vendor and then this area down here is only if you need it 99 percent of you are not even going to need this i think only yahoo and maybe one other random uh email account requires you to use a specific outgoing server email so if you if you don't know if you need these then just don't use them because chances are you don't otherwise you know who you are there's the area for you to go ahead and put in that information so we're going to leave this marked as false and we're going to go ahead and click save and so we're going to go back to the site and we're going to click on it click refresh and now you're going to see that we put some text in here we have our page header and we have our map in here so one thing to note that with this page header is if you come back in here and you look at this area here there's there's a page title URL and there's a heading the heading is what appears above this text this right here is what appears in the URL so if you have clean URLs um, and you're looking to get like um, some SEO terms in there this is where you're gonna wanna title that so that's what's gonna come up in the URL and this is what's gonna be the page heading okay so now that we've set up your most basic contact form let's go back and detail out the contact form and show you how flexible it is so I'm gonna come to this contact form tab right here and I'm gonna click new and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to type in a field title and I'm gonna go ahead and type in um, name and this is gonna be where somebody puts in their name now you'll notice down here that there's this unique field nickname that auto fills out for you um, if you don't know what this is don't even worry about it it's for more advanced users um, so just go ahead and leave that alone you could skip over that and then you can choose a type of form here so we're gonna pick pick a um, text single line 
and we can decide if this is required or not and then we can put in placeholder text and the placeholder text is um, the text that goes inside the field so like um, your name goes here so it's kind of a prompt to help the user understand what they're supposed to be putting in there and then we have different formatting types for that single line text and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just pick one of these um, and it'll just be plain text so I'm gonna click Save and now I'm gonna create a field for their email let's say so email and I'm gonna choose a single line and I'm going to say uh, your email and I am going to now use this drop down and I'm going to pick email address and click save and now let's go ahead and start using things like radio buttons um, let's, let's create something for radio buttons so you might say um, you know I want to know how they how they heard about us so how did you hear about us and the page type that you're going to choose is a radio selection and we're going to go ahead and now create the options for them. So we're going to come down here and we're going to click new. And we're, the first one is going to be maybe um, print uh, a print mailer. So maybe they, they heard about you uh, through a print mailer. And this is going to be our first one. So we're going to set as selected. And that that's what will um, automatically be selected until they change it. I'm going to click save. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add another one. So maybe they heard about us. Maybe we're doing some advertising on the radio click save and then maybe um, through a friend so I'll click save here and we have these three options I'm gonna go ahead and save this and kinda of show you where we're at and then we'll come back and add some more fields so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the site and refresh that page and you're gonna see here that we have uh, the name field and it says your name goes here that was that placeholder text the email and then our, our radio button so you come in here and you can actually choose uh, out of these w what they heard and then um, you can go ahead and hit submit let's go ahead and go back and build out some more fields so let's go ahead and click new and we're gonna create um, we're gonna create a field for um, you know maybe maybe the the type of photography that we want people to choose so uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a, a drop down so we'll click the drop down selection and maybe we want to give them some options like uh, wedding so maybe we want them to choose between wedding and and um, other types of photography so we'll go ahead and type uh, family um, and then maybe maybe you you shoot for pets so we'll go pets click save and they'll you'll see it come up right here and then I can go back here and you'll see that it creates a drop down right here so we can go ahead and use this drop down um, for numerous reasons but they can come in here and they can select which one is 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 their option and then they can click submit and then let's go ahead and go back and look at a couple other options here so um, we've gone over the single line text uh, the drop down we're gonna we can go ahead and make check boxes which is just like the radio or the or the drop down um, and there's one here called uh, date selection so maybe we want to know when is your event and we want them to select their date and we can set a default date so um, you know maybe we're not we're not going to be booking anything for six months out so we can select a de default date if we want come in here and, and, and start those dates right there hit save um, and then we can go ahead and refresh this and you will see that it creates um, a, a calendar event area here where if they were to go ahead and click here a calendar is going to go ahead and pop up and what's going to happen is they can choose their date and it fills it in for for you so um, if you want people to give you some specifics on dates you can use that and then you can come in here and the one of the last ones that you can create is um, like a subject so we'll go ahead and title this one subject it's a multi-line we're gonna come in here and click multi-line it means that they can type in a paragraph so uh, my placeholder will be type here and then I'm gonna click save and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the site refresh it um, and somebody can go ahead and type in you know a message here things that they that things that they want to uh, talk about so we can go ahead and uh, give that area for them to fill out and you can see that it's multi-line because it drops down and allows them to type quite a bit of stuff uh, one thing that you're gonna want to know is you can click on any one of these and move it around um, and that will change the order and then you can go ahead and just keep creating fields so if I want another field just come in here type uh, a title I can come in here 
added checkboxes, add information, save it, and I can make as many of these fields as I want. So just keep building them until you have them done, and um, and it's it's a really flexible system. So. I hope that was informative. I hope that helps you out with uh, understanding how to create your contact form. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us through Into the Darkroom. Just click on the support link, and uh, we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks again.